Okay, we have a Simon, and in English, that's a Simon uh, from Mindao project. Um, and actually, they like applied for the grant from the Accelerate grant program uh, in Casper Association. So it's nice because probably they're going to build and integrate Casper Wallet into their platform. And what is Mindao? Okay, guys. So just to give a short introduction about us, it's like we are uh, first and now the only one um, cross-chain NFT market platform and also we are having a launchpad we're working into helping and building NFT collections that are cross-chain and we are like the only one platform that is on the mainnet and we are actually able to mint your collections or the any blockchain that you only have in your mind that's nice so if I'm an enterprise yeah. like in a lot of uh, those guys in in uh, Casper network yeah. so if I'm enterprise then I have a like a real business uh, I want to use your platform, use your service to give a collection for what? Why, why should I do it? Yeah, so you know, it's like uh, when it comes to the collection, if you're a real business, you want to build something, you can even just come to us and say, guys, I want a collection. And it's like all the, everything that you have in your mind, we can prepare like utilities for you, the values, the everything related to it, like designs. So we give you a very wide range of services related to it, like from the consulting, from security, blockchain, and everything actually. So you can come up with a bro idea, uh, you know, very easy going and um, let's call it not full potential idea or something that is still not existing in your head even. And then we prepare like few propositions for you, we're choosing the best one and the best option of it is like it's free for start. Right, because you are not, we are not having any kind of uh, retainer fees and stuff like that. Only thing that is paid by us, you, you don't even pay us directly the money because we are just splitting the amount of collections that it was sell. Like we take like a few percent of the value that was sold for the collection itself. Okay, but if I'm at Enterprise, I want to pay you $100,000 and that's it. I don't want to sell my collection to the guys. I want to give them for free because this is this could uh, could bring me a uh, long-term clients yeah yeah yeah. that's right even if in that case for example if you want to airdrop the collections or give something for free we can just discuss it uh, before and we are doing it ourselves so it's like something that we call a custom offer and for example you got a 10 you want to build 10,000 nfts for the enterprises you work with for example or the people who you know and you want to give them something in advance without even without the utility or maybe some kind of a profile pictures for the community or like the partners when you have an enterprise right so that sh that you want to show your support for the company that you work with and in that case we can just set up like custom offer that we will just take it, we are just prepare you for the designs and everything related to it and you can just pay us like one time fee and with without the the, the, the fee for the, from the sale okay can you tell more about uh, how the process applying for the grant program looks like like what you sh what you needed to do to to be um, in process yeah, actually the whole process is kind of easy, to be honest, because it's like you need to put the basic information about your project, the things that you do, that you want to achieve, and why you would like to be into it, and uh, for what the grant money would like to put on. So that's it. Okay, that's nice. I have idea. There is the company that uh, imp uh, implement AR, um, augmented reality, uh, in some kind of app, and you can scan uh, some object, uh, uh, for example, you know, at this conference there is a key uh, AR object, you can scan it, it's an NFT, so you can prepare it also, right? Yeah, it's actually something that we don't do right now on a daily basis, to be honest, but when it comes to NFTs, we are able to work on like 90% of the things that you think of right now, because we also build our own products, and we just sometimes need to split our time and for the things that we want to build to help the companies to make their life easier when it comes to NFTs and the collections. But at the same time, we are building a new one. So, and we're still learning a lot of things. That was a hint because there is a company in, uh, within Casper Network. Do you see any hot narratives for the next bull run in terms of NFTs? 
uh, yeah, the one thing that actually I think it even started like in a few months ago already is things related to games. So like gamify and NFTs. So for example, you know, if you are a player or you're playing like a child in some kind of a games, like for example FIFA, uh, Counter Strike or anything, when you were putting your time, you are investing only the money in self of it, and you want to, when you are closing it, it's like the, you, you only spend the money for the for the items, boxes, anything, right? But we see that NFTs in a game gaming is something like that is starting and will be just still growing because for example you will be playing one game you will be the the bad thing of playing the game will be that you'll be earning from the things or the items you dropped, right? Or you collected. And when you're just closing the game and say to yourself, okay, I need to stop playing it, it's over for me. And now you and you will be able now to sell it and earn money from the projects uh, from the for the eight items you collected over the time, right? So like the bad thing of playing for me will be that you earned from the things that you collected over the time. So I think that for from my perspective right now the gaming is something very cool and it will be still developing. Okay, so uh, do you think that the era of this uh, funny JPGs, uh, the funny monkeys, or the punks, or or rocks, Ethereum rocks, will come back in some form? Uh, actually, I think that it's still not that because the communities are still developing, like you know. But the collections now of the NFTs, like the proper collections, uh, will be more connected to the to the memes, uh, GIFs, and the stickers that they have internally. And the community will be supporting each other, like the members and the project itself, with using the things that they all uh, laugh about and they only understand it. Okay, nice. What do you think about the NFTs that's uh, connected to real value assets? Is it a case or is it a too soon, uh, too, too early? I think that's something that will be case very soon. Uh, but it's like on very early stage right now from my from my end and I think there'll be something very cool But because for example if you connect like digital world with the real one and for example You get some kind of a piece of a jewelry and you have it in your for example in a metaverse in the future And you have it in your hand and it can be like a confirmation that this one is real right? So you don't need to have like a receipt or something like that But if you got the uh, the NFT of the watch or bracelet it shows that's real and it's one of a kind right? So it gives like additional value, and without it, it will be like worth a shit. <laughs> okay, so you can incorporate that watch into the metaverse game, or or, or, or some kind meta metaverse world. You can have the same yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, we think I, from my perspective and the things that we are discussing internally, we see that's something that have a very good potential, and it starts to be developed that people can scan something that they want to by connecting to the project or the metaverse that, for example, like Adidas has, right? So they are having their own shops in the in the in the metaverses, but it, we see that it might be a case that, um, for example, uh, like Tiffany or Porsche will be available if you, got, you can have one in your real life, but you also can have like NFT of your real car in a game. So you can just drive it on the, on the classical roads, but also in the, on the highways in the, in the metaverse. Okay, so additional utility to, to real stuff in the real world. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's, we think that people are now a bit uneducated about the things that the Web3 and the metaverses are like, like bad stuff because, you know, of the situation on the market and the, on the situation about the FTX, um, how the market looks like in the last month, right? But when it comes, when you look at it from the, for the long run and you just bit zoom out yourself from the situation, it looks like we can just add the value in the real world, but also in the virtual one. What do you think about the dynamic NFTs? Like upgradable NFTs? Like you can uh, like rewrite the NFTs, add some uh, description. Yeah, that's cool because you know, for example, uh, if you look like the NFTs that you can use another one or for example like fancy bears right you got the honey over there that you can upgrade your nft i think that's something great because for example if you're with the community for a very long time and you see that it will be something that gives you a chance to upgrade it because you are here for like for example for a year or something like or two or three actually for any piece of a time and you are still active you're supporting the community it will be something that can give you more lows or activities that you can participate in because you were with them for a very long time, right? Okay, nice.